What's up guys, Shade Tree Surgeon here with Jessica in charge of the camera. Normally right about now we'd both be on motorcycles, but we're in the F-350 today because we got something a little bit different for you guys. So we're on our way to our buddy Dave Kuntz's house, who if you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you know, has been through a series of unfortunate events involving his 1993 Harley Dyna Wide Glide, otherwise known as the Cunt Puncher. Marking its territory. Hey, there it is. <laughs> well, that's not good. Wasn't that supposed to be fixed? Shut up, Josh. The last couple videos I've been talking about Dave, you know I've been really bummed out that he hasn't been able to go ride with us because on our trip out to Orlando to go see Blockhead, not only did his bike spew oil the entire way there, covering both Devin and Flip's bike in motor oil. You wanna know something? You wanna start I, putting some back on your bike? You know, I don't feel at all bad for you though, you know why? When we were leaving, I said, oh man, Orlando, you really sure? I should do a little bit more of a test drive before fucking riding it all the way to fucking Orlando. And you're, like, you're like, no man, if it makes it to Josh's house, it'll be fine. But on the way back, it, it lost so much oil, it cracked the case. So the cut puncher has punched its last cunt. And Dave's been unable to ride with us ever since then. Well, that's not good. And it's just really been a bummer. So again, we're heading over his house and we're gonna do something about that. All right, we're here at Kuntz and Bobber Fett's house. Kuntz is upstairs, Bobber Fett is downstairs. You can tell it's their house by the plethora of Harley Davidson's out front, only one third of which actually run. Poor Devin, he's only got an F250 instead of the 350. What's up, Dave? And uh, Devin has roused himself as well. On this monumentous occasion, Dave's chose to rock the stone wash jeans. <laughs> Where do you even find, can you still buy those? Is that a thing? I got them at Ross. <laughs> Let's take a look at why we're here today. The reason Dave hasn't been coming along with us is the fact that the mighty CP, the mighty cunt puncher, is no more. What year is this bike? 93. 1993 mm -hmm. wide glide. By many considered to be the worst Dyna ever made. By Dave considered to be- Wait, what? When this one's donezo, dude. For now. It's gonna be a project. Project? What's yeah. it gonna turn into? This, but running. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the deal today is we've been riding all these Sundays and we're tired of not taking Dave with us, as I'm sure you're tired of being left behind. I'm very tired of being left behind. Another episode you might expect like, oh, maybe they'll start to work on the bike, but there's a lot that needs to be done to this. So I think what we really need to replace um, is, is the motorcycle. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's getting a new fucking bike today. I've discussed it with my personal uh, uh, mechanic as well as my attorney. He will not put a signature anywhere until I see all the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, can you read? <laughs> I got my grade five. <laughs> What's your credit like, Dave? Um, I, I would say um, strong to, to, to not quite strong. What? So you would say you would say that. I don't know what your credit's like, but I know you've made questionable decisions in the past. You can just look at this bike and know that. So I'm not sure exactly what you're gonna get, bud. But well, there's only one way to find out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We're not sure what Dave can can actually get, but like I've said in previous videos, Harley Davidson will finance just about anybody. And guess what? Dave's anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I previously worked with Burtz on that uh, FXDR test ride. Those guys seem pretty cool. So me and Dave and Jessica are gonna all head up to Burtz and we're gonna see if we can get Dave back on the channel. Dave's got his Coke Slurpee. Are uh, you in a bike buying mood or what? I am in quite the bike buying mood. <laughs> well, I hope you have the bike buying <laughs> finances because that's... <laughs> You and me both, Holmes. <laughs> Road Glide Dreams and a Sportster bank account. Hey. Oh my God. A rocker C in the flesh, man. I can't believe it. This is the worst bike ever. You probably That's like this bike. Buy. You've got terrible taste. I love that bike. They're awesome. Dude, it's a wide glide. That's your bike. Yeah, it is. It looked like this one. At one point, it actually did. It probably ran about the same way too. Wow. I mean, you just gotta get those stupid springs off there and put some struts on so it's a real man's bike and make bad life decisions. <laughs> All right, so the real question here is eventually we gotta talk to somebody because we're out here dreaming about bikes for Dave, but 
what we can dream about and what we can actually afford are two very different things. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it just yet, David. Beggars can't be choosers, David. Well, this is probably about my budget. Nice and narrow. Sort of like a motorized thong. Well, the reason why Dave can fit on this, he's actually tailor-made for sportsters because while he's a big guy, he's got the ass of a nine-year-old girl. Oh my God, what happened there? Hey, do you have me on? Yeah. You have MeUndies? I do, I love oh, MeUndies. I'm so jealous. My MeUndies are awesome. Not sponsored, but hey MeUndies. That's Springer. That's a pretty Springer right there. Oh, that is a good looking bike, man. I don't know, I think that one might be at your price range, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, it looks like it's a little bit older, maybe. That is a really good looking that's bike, good. man. Good. Don't let your eyes get bigger than your wallet, dude. My eyes are always bigger than my wallet. I know, that's the way I, I live my life. <laughs> always remember, in the book of life, there is a chapter 11 and a chapter 13, just in case you need it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Is that the bike Dave should try to get? If he could, if he could afford it? That's too nice for you. That is There's no nice way. Morning. What about the fat bob? Is that your style or not at all? I don't want anything with the word fat in it because it just writes its own jokes. <laughs> it sucks. A lot of Harleys have the word fat in the name. They do. They do. Is that a fat I would... bob, fat ass? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't. Your ass is tiny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stop touching my nice Slurpee. Can you just drink it? <laughs> do you want me to get brain freeze? What Dave's got to do is he's got to sit on all these bikes before they run his credit. <laughs> Because <laughs> afterwards they're gonna be like, you get the hell off of that thing. <laughs> How is your credit anyway, Dave? I've been pre-declined for every major credit card. I recently had my identity stolen. They gave it back. <laughs> so what do you say, Dave? Do you want to go full hipster California Dyna bro? You got your you got Vans on. You're already ready for it. I don't know, man. Vans and T-bars. How do you feel about that, dude? It just feels right. What's the price tag? Is this the price tag? If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. Dave, you have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> like, you definitely have to ask. <laughs> Old Dave has road glide dreams, but a sportster wallet. <laughs> That's a good looking bike too, though. I love that good. orange. Looks a, looks a little more comfortable than uh, than the old Dynabro special. You ready to move up to the Geezer Glide, my friend? Oh, I turned 40 months ago. I'm, you're 40? 40? Dave, you don't look like you're 40 years old. I gotta Fat be honest. Fat don't crack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having fun talking shit and sitting on all these bikes, but at the end of the day, we can sit here and dream about all these bikes, or Dave can dream about all these bikes, but we actually need to do is sit down with a finance guy and figure out what Dave can afford. I, I'm not against financing bikes. Some people are. And we've been making all these jokes about credit and everything like that, but if you don't have 20 grand to drop on a bike, or in this case, you know, much less 20 than 20 grand, grand. <laughs> it's like, you finance a bike. So we're gonna walk in there. We know what Dave- Not 20 grand. Yeah. Dave knows what he can afford per month. So mm -hmm. what we really are gonna do, instead of looking at prices, is he's, Dave's gonna go in there, talk to the finance guy and say, this is what my monthly budget is what can we put you on? We're here with uh, a guy I've actually known for years in Ybor City. I didn't even know he worked here. My buddy Nick Kangeem is the finance manager. So he's gonna sit down with Dave and see what he can do for him. I don't know, what do you think he's gonna get approved for? I know he wants the glide. I just Dave don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Well, Dave went and talked to the finance guy, so we're waiting to hear what the verdict is, and until then, free beers. Hey! All right, we're back in the 350. We're heading home, had a good time here drinking free beers, because how can you not have a good time drinking free beers? Dave's not with us, that means things went pretty well here at Burt's. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you what he got here in a little bit. Obviously it's the next day because I'm on my bike. I'm heading over to Koontz's house now. It's not even just the next day. We're actually two weeks after David bought the bike. And the reason for that is being a grown up kind of sucks. Just been so busy with work. When I say work, I mean my real job, uh, not YouTube. It's just so busy with that and making other YouTube videos. Yeah, I, I go from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep. I got every minute of the day filled. And it, it just kind of reminds me that 
holy crap, I haven't been able to meet up with my buddy Dave Koontz to have a beer and film his new motorcycle to show you guys. And it took me two weeks. It took me two weeks to pin down a day where I could actually make that happen. Being a grown up is the worst. And even then you can see the sun's going down already. I've freaking been working, doing maintenance at the bar all day long. And I've just got a actually rather short window of opportunity to get over to Dave's house and still have enough sunlight to, to be able to film the bike. Yeah, so I am in a little bit of a hurry, but luckily being in a hurry is something the Rocket 3 can help with. <laughs> All right, we're almost to Dave's house. I'll give you one last guess at what he got before the big reveal. Not actually believe that he that he got the glide man that's the bike he wanted he wanted a glide he knew he wanted a radio he wanted luggage and he fucking got it I'll be honest with you I thought he was gonna leave with another Dyna not that there's anything wrong with Dynas but he had a Dyna and I just kind of a bummer to like go get a new bike and get basically a newer version of the motorcycle you already had. You, know, you wanted wanted to upgrade. Now, obviously, I'm not going to share Dave's finances, but uh, <laughs> needless to say, they worked their magic up there at Burt's. They, they worked pretty hard for him, and they got him on that bike. And uh, I'll tell you, I was actually surprised. Although, I don't think anyone was as surprised as David was that he actually got to be on the bike that he wanted. So... We're going to go up here and have ourselves a beer at Red Star Rock Bar and watch you leave Dave a congratulations down in the comments. But I think it suits you too, man. And you fucking fi and he finally went to the full face. So leave, leave Dave a congrats for that, for going to the full face finally. He was rocking no helmet and then three-quarter helmet, but he's, fi he's finally converted. On the spot right now, I fucked myself. Maybe I'll start a YouTube channel or something. So I gotta protect the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll have a link. I'll have a link to Dave TV down in the description. Ooh. Go check him out. Yeah, Only Dave walks drink. into a bar and orders a fun drink. <laughs> hey. I'll make sure it's fun for you. I'm gonna get fun real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's fun.